have a one please subscribe this wiki tech channel and tap on the bell icon to receive the further notifications yep guys finally here is the motorola g8 power light in our box at the front side we have seen that motorola logo and also the other hand same motorola logo at the back side they're saying that 5000 mah and a massive battery whereas it comes with 20 h 9 x pressure screen whereas this device comes with 4 gp ram with 64 gp internal storage and also on the other hand sides ima numbers with the front and the back side nothing more so let's quickly unbox the device right now. I have been purchased this product on Flipkart on the flash shell. So luckily I get this product where my friends, my family members, a lot of people was trying to purchase this device from the time it released in India. But they unfortunately they couldn't purchase it. But luckily yesterday, two days back I have placed the order in Flipkart. But finally today it was in my hand. So let's quickly unbox the box. Here we go. At the far, at the one we open the box, we have seen that the Motorola handset itself. I feel a little bit of heavy uh, because due to it comes with 5000. And also, guys, that's great. They also provided in the box it's a screen guard for the screen protection. They have provided extra screen guard. And also they have given this cover back cover case also that's the good thing the quality of the cover looks very good it's this type of silicon TPU cases the quality also very good and also they provided the screen guard also so let me put both aside so here is the mod itself uh, the first time I feel it was a little bit of heavy so anyhow, it was available in two colors. Whereas guys, this particular Moto G8 power light was available in two colors. Whereas in my hand, it was royal blue and also arctic blue was also available. You guys can check out. So very anxiety. Let's check out what's inside the bot box. So we have seen that there was a paperwork stuff, how to use the mobile in a proper way. They mentioned here the paperwork, some kind of guidance so nothing else and also we have seen that it comes with data 2.0 uh, unfortunately this particular device does not come with fast charging support whereas it supports only 10 watts charger only and also it's type 2.0 data cable was given inside the box whereas uh, we have the sim rejector to open the sim tray so here it was and also guys uh, they have here is the travel adapter where this travel adapter supports 10 watts support for this to charge this 5000 mAh massive battery so finally the mobile was my in my hands so guys uh, i feel little bit of heavy not too much but previously i have do unboxing of the samsung m21 so when i was uh, hold the samsung m21 whereas that particular mobile also comes with 6000 mAh but whereas this particular mobile comes with 5000 mAh but i feel it was little bit of heavy but anyhow we have seen the features they have mentioned it comes with 20 to 9 extra pressure screen and also they're saying that it comes with 4 gp ram with 64 gp internal storage so let's peel off this cover so i myself very anxiety to use this mobile phone uh, besides that motor gestures so let's look at the physical overview whereas guys this portal device comes with 6.5 inches ips lcd screen at the front side there was a water top notch display and here it was a 6, 8 megapixel selfie shorter along with the air speakers at the bottom side we have seen that here is the usb port where it's 2.0 and here is the primary microphone at the back side of the device it comes with triple camera setup whereas the primary sensor is 16 megapixel and the second the secondary camera is 2 megapixel for macro and again 2 megapixel for depth sensor and also there was a single led flash so beside this camera setup we have seen that here is the secondary noise cancellation mic was here and also there was the motorola logo this logo is also acts as fingerprint sensor at the back side bottom we have seen that here is the speaker drill and if you look at the top side here is the 3.5 mm audio jack port like that whereas guys on the right hand side here is the power button along with the volume rockers on the other hand side here is the sim tray so let's check out whether the sim tray is a triple slot or hybrid slot so let's 
check out right now i was very anxiety company claims that it comes with a triple slot i hope so so yes, as i just told the company told it comes with triple slot so which means you can add two sim cards on micro sd card slot here on this is trim slot and also guys the built impression is very nice at the back side i feel it's the 3d curve type the design was there and also they have added the protector in the x series so we can apply the screen protector also so let's quickly turn it on let's check out whether there was a power it or not so it was booted up we have seen that motorola logo but anyhow guys let it boot it up and i configured it and i will see you in the home screen in the meantime here is the spec for you whereas this moto comes with 6.5 inches ips lcd screen and also at the resolution of 720 to 1600 pixels if you look at the screen to body ratio it comes with nearly 87 percent and 269 ppi and also guys it was comes with mediatek helio p35 processor which was built with 10 nanometer architecture with the processor is octa-core processor and the graphics here used was power vrge 8320 whereas this particular device comes with 4gp ram with 64gp variant and the storage type is emmc 5.0 storage at the back it comes with triple camera setup where the primary sensor is 16 megapixel and 2 megapixel for macro and again 2 megapixel for depth sensor with the red camera we can able to shoot 1080 at the rate of 30 frames per second whereas the front side comes with 8 megapixel and we can able to shoot 1080 at the rate of 30 frames per second the talking about the connectivity it's it was connected with Wi-Fi single band and Wi-Fi data was enabled, hotspot was enabled, Bluetooth 4.2 version was enabled. We're looking at the USB, it comes with 2.0 port. And also guys, it comes with fingerprint sensor, acclimator sensor, gator cup sensor, and procometer sensor. Whereas the battery department it comes with 5000 mAh and it supports the 10 watt charger. If you look at the colors, it was available in two variants. One is the Arctic blue, another one is the Royal blue. So guys, here is the home screen looks like this. Uh, the home screen was very simple we have seen that the notification panel was very simple and also we can do customization here by adding these icons to the notification so I will use it later and I will let you know but anyhow the notification was very simple and also this device does not come with any kind of pre-installed applications uh, they have added an application for motor notification Facebook FM and also they added the YouTube along with YouTube music also they added here but that that's it guys and the google sheets so that's it then i think apps was installed in these apps the ui was very simple and unique and also there was no bloatware in this device i feel like i was using that device like pixel devices that i feel like that because of the ui was very simple clean so anyhow guys uh, let's go to the settings and I want to let you know one thing whereas this device only supports single band Wi-Fi so by which means you can able to connect to 0.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band but unfortunately this time in this budget range this device does not support the dual band Wi-Fi and also let's check out the sensors I have just installed the CPU Z so what are the sensors was available in this motor low so let's check out whereas this device was running with Android 9 if you look at the sensors it supports the acclimator sensor was available gyro cup sensor and proximity sensor uh, these sensors was available and also the back side fingerprint sensor was available the finger render also very accurate and good i will show it later i have also installed the drm info so let's check out the wideband support so which means it can able to support l1 security level so we can play and we can stream the amazon videos in hd quality so i have already installed the amazon and i have tested a few videos playing in amazon the quality was good it's hd plus display guys so in this budget the quality was good and also it was playing amazon videos uh, without any issue that quality was good and great uh, and also so let's check out the storage and ram department here so i was going to the storage and ram department so whereas guys this comes with 64 gp but out of the box uh, the system uh, takes around 13 gp and also i have installed the three apps you have seen that cpu jet but still no i haven't take any kind of photos and videos but anyhow we can expect the internal storage is around 51 gp here whereas if you look at the 4 gp ram out of the 4 gp 1.8 gp was system reserved and we can get free ram around 2 2.1 GP and also guys the touch was a very good response touch I haven't faced any kind of lags or issues while using this touch the UI was very good and clean UI 
So I feel myself I was using that uh, mobile phones like uh, uh, Google Pixels and also we know that the Motorola is good for the gestures so let's check out. So if you swipe like that you can double tap it and you can take the photos and I mean we can open the camera and the focus also very good. You guys can check out it, I can, it can easily shift the focus from one position to another position. For example I have just locked the lenses and I want to take the photo. So let me take one macro shot here by putting it here on this area. So let me try one macro shot here. I'm just focusing on the labels. So it was locked the focus. That's it. Wow, the pix looks very good. Very nice. And it's also quite fast. Uh, the focusing was quite fast and accurate. Uh, let me try front camera. So guys, uh, it can able to track my face. I was uh, just moving from one side to another side. I think it, it feels a little bit of struggle to capture my face, to track my face. But anyhow, let's take some samples. So when I take the picture, it was showing, it takes some time to save the picture because you have seen that it's saying image was processing. But okay, anyhow, I will give you some samples so you guys can get an idea. Let's check out the audio, how the audio, uh, it comes with speaker at the back side. They provide the speaker at the back side, so let's hear the audio. Even though it has a single speaker, the audio was pretty loud and enough for us. And also guys, uh, let's check out the fingerprint radar. The fingerprint was accurate and it was quick fast. You guys can check out. It was quite responsive. The fingerprint was quite responsive and accurate. This picture was taken with the Razer camera in lighting, indoor lighting conditions. It looks like the pictures was neat and clean in the indoor lighting condition. There was no overexposure, underexposure, even the camera looks uh, works very good in terms of indoor lighting conditions. So I was okay. The colors was also accurate uh, in also indoor lighting condition. And one more picture. This was taken with again indoor lighting condition with the rare size camera. But whereas this was taken with the front facing 8 megapixel in indoor lighting condition. But this is also again taken with the front facing camera in indoor lighting condition. This picture was taken with the outdoor lighting condition with front facing camera. But this particular picture was taken in outdoor with rare size camera. And whereas this is one more picture which was taken with the backside camera at the outdoor lighting shots. You guys can check out the exposure values, contract values. I was very very impressed with this particular picture because of the 16 megapixel works very well. You guys can check out, you can look the number plate of this uh, Moto G8 power light. So I was surprised with that. So finally the UI was very clean and neat. I feel like I was using the Google Pixel phones. The UI was very nice and also there was no bloatware in this mobile phone. The test response is also very good. The camera was very good but at the front cam I see little bit of delay in autofocus of my face but anyhow I was going to provide a complete review and also they provide the case was very good. Uh, they maintained the good quality of the case so you guys can check out but anyhow I was going to use this mobile phone with the help of this guest so I will, I will soon uh, give you my complete review very soon on this Moto G8 power light. Thank you so much guys for spending your valuable time with me. So very soon in the next video. Take care. Hi everyone. Uh, here is the Moto G8 power light. Uh, finally I have got this mobile phone in my hands. Two days back I have just placed out in the flip card. Today I get the deliver, so I have to do the unboxing right now. And also guys, I was going to provide the complete review about this Moto G8 Power Lite in-depth review. I was going to play the PUBG game here because some of our users ask us whether this Helio P35 processor can able to handle the PUBG or not. But whatever it may be, I was going to do in-depth review in camera, the guest stores, the PUBG gaming, how the mobile can handle. And still now, I was very happy. The display was very good and responsive. I feel like I was using the Google pixel phone because of the ui was very simple and no bloatware no ads and also there was no pre-installed apps also there should be at like the mobile
Motorola notifications app on Facebook and YouTube music that's it guys nothing more uh, but still no, it was very good but anyhow if you have any kind of specific questions about this particular Moto G at power light just let me in the comment section I was going to cover in my review when I was doing really thank you thank you so much guys for your love support and commitment and don't forget to subscribe our channel to receive the further notification see you very soon in the next video take care bye bye